Hi everyone, Scott Davenport here, and in this on one short clip, I wanted to show that with just a few filters and effects, you can transform your sunrise or sunset photos into something more, giving them more color and uh, a little more of that twilight feel. And this photo is a sunrise shot uh, on the Coronado Bridge in the San Diego area. And uh, it took this a few minutes before the sun had come up. And it was great color in the clouds, but the sky had gotten a little bit washed out. And I want to bring back some of that twilight blue hour feel that was there when I was on scene. So first I'm going to start by adding a sunshine filter just to add a little bit of warmth to it. And you can see that does a really nice job to the, uh, the oranges and the reds in the clouds. Next, I want those clouds to, to pop a little bit more. So I'm going to go to dynamic contrast I'm going to keep the natural setting. And that's adding a little more of the, the texture that was in those clouds. I actually like the texture there. I'm going to back it off from the, uh, the, shadowy area with a masking bug. I don't need the contrast on the bridge. So I have a center shape. I'm going to drop the bug. Oop, it changed on me. Let's change that to center. There we go. And I'm going to just resize it. So it kind of just is encompassing the bridge. This uh, softens up the area of the reflected water and just feather that out and maybe bias that down a little bit so there. So I keep those nice textures here up in the clouds and uh, I'm not adding any of that extra punch into the silhouette of the bridge. I'm gonna use that mask again. So I'm gonna go over to my filter stack, click on the mask icon and click copy. Now I'm gonna add a tone enhancer. And before we had dynamic contrast, tone enhancer was my go-to tool for adding contrast and doing things. I actually don't want any of that here. I'm going to turn off the auto setting and I'm not going to touch the sliders at all. But I am going to play with the tone curves. Now, this is a bit of an advanced technique, but it's not too bad once you get used to it. I'm going to set a point at the center here to kind of anchor the curve, and I don't want the shadows to change. I'm going to click and set another point there and just nudge the red curve up a little bit. This is adding a little more reds into the highlight area of the photo. So you can see the clouds add a little more color. I'm going to do the reverse on the green curve and tug the highlights down a little bit. And that's going to bias, I'm taking away green, I'm adding magenta. So it's adding a little more of that purple hue into the highlights. And then the last, in the blues, I'm just going to increase the blues a little bit, just giving a little more of that twilight feel. And with curves, usually less is more. Subtle adjustments work great. Last, I'm going to add a photo filter and really just give it another little extra punch of this, uh, this nice blue tone that happens to be the default. And play with the polarizer a little bit and maybe back off the strength or the saturation, I should say. Um, and then let's, let's back off the opacity of it just a little bit, something like that. So very quickly with just a handful of filters. Oh, I wanted to make sure I didn't apply that to my bridge. Let me paste that mask I copied before. I want to keep that center part nice and warm. That looks much better. So there we go. So just a few filters and a, and a tiny bit of masking. This is before and this is after. Much more compelling photo and certainly much more uh, how I remember the scene in that twilight feel.